Hello out there. In this video, I want to show us how you will be able to bridge your token in the various network to one another. Let me get this out of the way, please. And um, I'll be using um, the Ever Defy Bridge. The Ever Defy Bridge enables one to um, a kind of bridge tokens from one chain to another let's say let me simplify it let's say you have a token on a particular token on the binance smart chain and you want to purchase a token on the ethereum phantom avas or polygon chain you know you cannot do that directly except there is a bridge so you can buy um let's say ethereum token on a binance chain you can buy avas token on an ethereum chain you can buy let's say um, um phantom token on a polygon chain the only way you can do it is to use a DeFi bridge and the evos DeFi bridge enables us is very easy is very fast enable us to carry out all these functionalities so the only other way you can do it is to use a centralized exchange and you know the challenges with centralized exchange is that they will, they will ask you to pass kyc know your customer is a business standard where every business every renowned business have to a kind of um make their customers pass through that process where you'll be asked to submit a lot of documents your personal document and all the rest so it takes a while before you are even approved that you'll be able to withdraw from such centralized exchange after passing the kyc so on on your dApps, you can do this easily now where you can bridge your coin you can buy from any chain at all so i'm going to take us through the process here first of all what you need to do is to connect your wallet my binance chain is connected here now and i'm using metamax so this is the ever um, chain the, the device exchange the ever defi exchange so you need to connect your wallet first to the chain my wallet is not yet connected so you i will just click on connect then i'll use metamask i'm using metamask let me see connect why is it not connected okay let me just um, refresh the page so that will so let's try again connect so it's connected now automatically it has been connected so after connecting your wallet you scroll down the chain you are you have the coin is the one to put at this from slot so you click on it i'm coming please let, let me get something out of the way here okay it's clear now so you click on the chain i have my token on the binance smart chain and i want to purchase a token on the avalanche chain so what i need to do is to bridge this token that is on the binance smart chain to the um avas chain so there are a lot of chain here you can see it you have polygon you have um others there are many you see a lot of chains so you can just choose from anyone you are holding that coin and bridge to so i'll uh, my focus here is binance smart chain so i'm bridging to avas of the avalanche chain so i'm just going to click on avalanche so now the next thing i will do i'll still scroll down i'll select the token the token you need to select is the one that you are holding some amount of coin on it let's say i have um on binance matching now binance matching holds that uh, is compatible to hold a lot of token built under it let's say you have um 
Binance have a USDT peg. Binance have um, the the pancake coin. Binance have a lot of tokens. You have a lot of tokens on on the Binance smart chain. So the one I I'm holding, um, I have um, a little amount on is the USDT. I have a little USDT on the Binance smart chain. So I'll click on the USDT here. So it will come up. Then um, I think it's not well displayed here. Let me check something here. Sorry. So after selecting the coin, you are holding um, some amount of token on. Then you you put the amount you want to swap. Um, if you want to use the whole um, coin, you click on maximum. But if you want to use a fraction of it, you can just tap on the box then you enter the amount it could be ten dollar whichever one okay minimum is ten dollar so you just put twelve dollar twelve dollar will be okay but in in my own case here i want to use maximum so i'll just click on the maximum there's a little fee and it's not much it's not even up to bridge commission it's just um this two cent now um so after all that is done the the evos bridge is very simple and is very direct that's why i love it i've done a video on um ec um, bridge but that one is a long process but this one is simple and for those who are a kind of um new to the industry you will find this one very easy to use when you compare it with the ec um, um bridge i i did a video on formally now um, i'll click on approve then i'll going to approve the transaction on my meta max so let's approve let's confirm okay now the advantage of this one is that um, the fees are very cheap then you don't need to undergo the rigor of maybe time wastage and also the the complexity of um, centralized exchanges so um, after it is the transaction has been confirmed you send it so once you send it you will still approve um, the transaction here so it's very direct easy and direct you still confirm it so once that is done you can just view the deposit information how it is um, processing so as you, as you can see here now it's already processing one um, all over four when it's four four by four then the transaction has completely been done or it has been successfully as it has been done successfully so let's just wait for it a few minutes to see how it is um, executed successfully then we'll check our wallet and the chain we transfer um, it to whether it's reflecting there and mind you not to forget we are bridging from this binance the bsc uh, the bsc you are seeing it is just an abbreviation for binance chain then we have the avalanche chain as well so um the beauty of this thing is that it's very easy it doesn't cost much when you compare it to centralized exchanges so let's just wait for it here and i love the interface the the web design and everything is so easy with ever vify exchange so while we wait let's just um let's just see what is going on here so you can do a little research about the evos um, chain they have a twitter page as well let me take you to their twitter page official twitter page let's see okay um it, it's almost done now. so it has been done successfully so this transaction has been carried out successfully so you have your this thing your usdt on your avalanche chain now so let's check it on our avas chain using metamax 
now i have to change the network to avas is uh, is is currently on um smart chain which is the binance smart chain so let's change the network to avas let's see it's being reflected okay let me add the access let me let me just add it i'm coming usdt i'm going to copy the contra address in case you are um, on metamask if you don't if the coin has not reflected you just go and copy the the contra address and add it manually to copy the contra address you type um tether usdt um coin market cap then there are different compatible um, um network that have the contra address here so as it's a avalanche i'll have to copy it from here then I, i'll go to my metamask then i'll add it manually let me just get this out of the way once i add the contra address the rest will reflect so once that is done it has reflected then i'm going to add the token manually import so as you can see look at our 17 um, dollar it has reflected um so that that is to say that the swap the bridge sorry has been done successfully and the funds sent to our avas chain so guys this is how you bridge your token any token at all once the chain is um there are a lot of chain on the evos um this thing the ever defi bridge you can just go through any of them the one you have your token and you want to purchase other token from other different network or chain you can do it right here on the avas uh, on the ever um defi bridge so thank you very much trade wisely cryptocurrency is risky don't consider my video to be um a financial advice do your own diligent research before you invest into cryptocurrency i am not liable for any losses that you may incur your losses are personal and be wise and trade wisely my friend thank you very much we'll see you see now in our next video bye for now